Welcome to Powers and Exponents. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is evaluate each expression. The word evaluate means to solve. So I'm going to solve each expression. And the way I do that is, remember, the 2 is your base, the 5 is your exponent. The 5 tells you how many times to multiply your base. So I'm going to write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I always go back and check. And now I need to multiply. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times, and I'm going to bring down my 2. Now 4 times 4 is 16. Bring down my 2 again. And 16 times 2 is 32. When we come up with an answer, when we solve exponents, this is what we call standard form. The reason it's called standard form is because it has no exponents in it. So if they ask you to write or evaluate an expression in standard form, then it means to solve it. I wish they would just say solve it, but they don't. Okay, let's do the next one. 4 to the third power or 4 cubed means 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Bring down the 4. You're always multiplying. And 16 times 4 is 64. Once again, I solved it, and it is in standard form. Next one. 10 squared, or 10 to the second power, means 10 times 10. I multiply, and I get 100. No exponent so I know it's in standard form. 7 cubed, or 7 to the third power, means 7 times 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Bring down the 7, multiply once again, and 49 times 7 is 343 in standard form. 5 to the fourth power, means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 5 is 25. Still multiplying. And 25 times 25 is 625. Written in standard form. Write numbers in exponential form. Exponential form is when it has an exponent. So basically you want to shorten it. So if I was to write 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 in exponential form, I first have to know what my base is. And the base is what we multiply over and over again. So my base is 3. I want to know how many times I multiplied it. 1 or how many 3's I have. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's my x. Now let's write the next one in exponential form. Okay, found my pen. My base is what I multiply over and over again. So my base is 5. And, hmm, door is being creepy. Okay. And my exponent tells me how many times I multiplied it. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6. So that's 5 to the 6th power. Next one. My base is what I multiply over and over again. And my exponent tells me how many times I multiplied it. 1, 2, 3. And there you have it. It is now in exponential form. Let's go ahead and put these powers in order from least to greatest. 
which means putting them in order from small to large. In order to do that, just like if you had fractions, uh, you would have to solve them first. You'd have to change them all to decimals. So you have to put them in standard form, which remember standard form means no exponents. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, this is my base. My base tells me is 6, and my exponent tells me how many times to multiply it. That's 2, 3, 4, 5. I double count just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, then I multiply 36 times 36, and I bring down my 6. And then 36 times 36 is 1,296. And I'm going to bring down my 6 again. And 1,296 times 6 is 7,776. And here we have standard form. I'm done with the first one. The second one, anytime you have 1 as a base, uh, it's times itself. And 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, it doesn't matter if it says 1 to the million, my answer is always going to be 1. 4 to the 10th power means I'm going to multiply my base is 4, and I'm going to multiply it 10 times. It's not 4 times 10. That's how many times I write my base. That's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You ready to do this? 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 is... <laughs> saying 4 so many times I'm about to write a 4. Okay, 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 times 4 is 16. Now 16 times 16 is 256, and 16 times 16 is 256. I bring this down because I did not use it. And 256 times 256 is 65,536. Bring down the 16 because I didn't use it. And 65,536 times 16 is... It's 1,048,576. But we're not done yet because we still have this one right here. And so 17 to the third, my base is 17. My exponent tells me how many times to multiply it. And 17 times 17 is 289 times bring down my 17, and 289 times 17 is 49, or 4,913. Now, the numbers I have in standard form are what I put in order from least to greatest. So, my first number is 1 to the 14th. My second one would be 17 to the third. My next one would be 6 to the fifth. And the greatest number is 4 to the tenth power. Don't pay attention to the bases. Don't pay attention to the exponents. You have to put each one in standard form before you put it in order. Also pay attention to what they're asking to, whether it's least to greatest or greatest greatest to least, that can make a huge difference. And even though you know how to do it, that's where a lot of students make their mistakes. In recent years, the number of 12 to 17 year olds that went off-road biking was 10 to the 6th power.
write this in standard form. Or in other words, when they ask you to write in standard form, they want you to solve it, meaning standard form, no exponents. Now, notice I put in some extra information here, which I'm going to highlight in pink, uh, meaning there's extra numbers in there, but you don't necessarily need them, so we're going to cross them out because it doesn't matter. So, what do they want us to put in standard form? They want us to put the exponent in standard form, or 10 to the 6, or they want us to solve 10 to the 6. So, if I have... can't see yellow. If I have 10 to the 6, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My base is 10, and the 6 tells me how many times I'm multiplying it. In standard form, it has no exponent. Here we have a verbal expression meaning the words are written out, and they just want you to write it as an exponent. If it said write it in standard form, you'd first have to write it as an exponent and then solve it, which we're going to take it to the next level and do that. 4 to the 5th power. So I have 4 to the 5th power, which means 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. I know. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 is 16. Bring down my 4. And 16 times 16 is 256 times 4 is 1,024. So you can see here, I have my answer done in exponential form and standard form. Let's do the next one. 9 squared. 9 squared. My base is 9. Squared is to the second power. And that's exponential form. And if I were to write it in standard form, I'd have 9 times 9 and that would equal 81. That would be my standard form. Here we have a word problem and a picture. Suppose the cu puzzle cube is made up of unit cubes. Find the number of unit cu cubes in the puzzle. Write it as an exponential number. So we know we don't want, they don't want us to solve it because it's not asking for standard form. So what we're going to do is, this is a cube, which is length times width times height. And we have one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we have our length times width times height, or length times width times height, and we need to write it as an exponential number, and our base is three, and we wrote it, multiplied it three times. So here's our answer. If they want us to know how many cubes there were, we'd multiply. Three times three is nine, bring down the three, and nine times three is 27. So there's 27 cubes, and we write that as an exponential number. So there's your answer. Great job, guys.